how good do you think this Breeders' Cup Classic field is in relation to all the classic fields that have come before? Well, I mean, I feel like I'm lucky enough to be sad on one, but it's a strong, strong group, and and uh, it's exciting to see these horses all meet, you know, and all of them getting here healthy, Bernardini, Lava Man, Invasor, amongst others. I mean, even Flower Alley was, you know, left out at the beginning, but he's a grade one winner and second in this race last year. It's a great race to me. Karen, were you surprised that the, uh, the odds maker made uh, your horse uh, the second choice of five to one? No, I thought we should have been the favorite. But, <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, I, I, was, I thought they kind of forgot about Invasor. You know, the last month it's all been Lava Man and Bernardini. So it made me feel a little better that he's second choice on the program. But the horses don't know what their odds are when they go in the starting game. You may have gotten uh, somewhat of a line on the East Coast sprinters off the Vosburg, which is Kenny Hughes' first try against Older. Um, do you have any read or take on the on the, the West Coast group that will be challenging you? There's front runners, there's come from behinders. Uh, what's, what's your read on that? It's obviously going to be a tougher race for him than the Vosburg. Yes, I've always respected the California horses. There's a great group of horsemen out there with very nice horses. and. You have to respect them, but they have Henny Hughes to beat on Saturday. He's just a special horse and has done everything right this year, and I think they know they have him to beat.